Okay, first time back in a while. Oof, why am I nervous? Why do I feel so discombobulated? All right, let's see how this goes. Hi everyone. It's been a minute since you guys have seen me here on YouTube. I am filming a bunch of videos because I really miss filming and I have no idea when they're gonna go up. I'll talk a little bit throughout the video as to the reasons why I've been off YouTube but in a nutshell I've had a some technical difficulties with my computer so editing has not really been an option. I'm also struggling with my ring light and then just life things but I figured I'd come back with a little get ready with me. This might actually be the first video of of my vlogmas series and if I do end up figuring out my editing and getting these videos up in time for vlogmas it's gonna be probably 12 days of new palettes and when I say new palettes it means new like untouched in my collection not necessarily new in the beauty space I have a ton of palettes that are in my so-called basket of shame meaning I haven't tried them yet and I really wanted to try to get through as many of them as I possibly can with the remainder of 2023 and of course, anything that I don't get to this year, I will continue on into 2024. So you guys are going to see me put on a bunch of new to me makeup, not just the eyeshadow palette, although the one we are playing with today is going to be the Pat McGrath and Bridgerton, the original one. I found this at TJ Maxx, no actually at Marshalls. So this is what she looks like. You'll see it later in the video. And if you want to see how I created this look, get ready with me. These are not my strong suit, so I'm sure it's going to be a long one with lots of editing. So I think we're going to pretty much get straight into it. If you guys are new to my channel, then welcome. Hi, my name is Natalia. I'm a concert pianist who loves all things beauty and makeup and also as of late, plants. So that's one of the reasons I haven't been around is I've really been investing a lot of my free time of which I have little into plants, plant care, collecting new plants. So if you are new though, then well, there's a little bit about me. I started my YouTube channel with a no buy year back in 2020. I attempted a low buy year in 2021. It did not pan out very well. And throughout 2021 and 2022, I did do quite a bit of shopping and I am back to my low buy. So if you are interested in a bunch of mixed beauty content, then please subscribe. And without further ado, let's jump in and see me put on a bunch of new makeup. Well, hello to my bare face. We are doing a get ready with me. I'm just catching up because it's been a while. I probably have mentioned in the intro. I have no idea when this video will go up. I have had lots of life things, but the main reason I actually went off YouTube a few months ago is due to technical issues. My computer is super old and will just not allow me to edit anymore. I haven't gotten a new one yet, but I'm hoping to try to make this work somehow. I haven't figured out how yet, whether that means I will get myself a new computer around Black Friday or not. Time will tell. I don't know if I can actually financially swing that at the moment. Anywho, let's jump into the makeup. Let's catch up a little bit. I have an array of stuff. Basically, I would like the rest of this year, since this whole year was supposed to be about me trying things, I would like to go through as as many of my new products as possible and try them out. Some of these are super old to the market. They're just things I haven't tried. Let me run through the things we are gonna try. For primer, I think I got this in some sort of a subscription box. I have this Tarte C Glotion. It's a skin perfecter. I don't know which products are still on the market and which are not, but this says use alone for a healthy glow or wear under makeup for added radiance. So we're gonna try this out. For foundation, I have an old one that I would like to test out because this was supposed to be in my basket of doom for like whatever month, I think for the summertime. And I I did use it a few times, but then I haven't used it for a few months. And to be honest, don't quite remember how I feel about it. Not to mention summer skin and winter skin are two very different things. And this I purchased at like a TJ Maxx or Marshalls. This is a Guerlain L'Essentiel. I, I don't speak French. It's a natural glow 16 hour wear foundation. It looks way too pale for me. It's 00W. So I'm guessing the very fairest share, the, the very... So I'm guessing it is the very fairest shade they have, but in a warm. I think this is though maybe by now a little too dark for me. It almost works in the summer. So I was thinking, depending on how the shade match goes, this is brand new, never tried it. I think I bought it for like 20 or $25. I was just curious, did I need it? No, but I have it. 
so we're gonna try it what else uh, most recent purchase in the sephora latest sale was this um say glow sculpt the multi-use cream highlighting blush i got the mauve glow looking at it it looks quite deep i kind of wish i went with something else but i do love a mauve blush so i thought this might be good. I have not swatched it. I have not tried it. I just got it in the mail a few days ago. Why am I putting back in the box? Who knows? And then some things that are like super old. This Fenty Kilowatt Foil in Sandcastle and Minted Mojito. This was another TJ Maxx or Marshalls purchase from who knows when. It's very unusual shades. It's been in my basket of shame, which is all my new products I still have yet to use. It's been in there for a while. So I thought maybe I also did, however, pull out this Becca Prismatic Amethyst Highlighter. Again, guys, Becca's not even around. I've had this for a long time and it's still sitting brand new. I think this is the only Becca highlighter though and I have quite a few that I've never used. So I'd like to change that, see if I want to keep it or not. This was something that I think came in a set. This is the Tatcha, oh gosh, what is this? The Silk Powder? I feel like I remember hearing very polarizing reviews on this powder when it came out and it came out a year or two ago. Mine, as you can see, is still sealed. It's been sitting around waiting to be used. This was something a friend of mine gave me. This is by a company I've never even heard of. Complex Culture. Have you guys heard of this brand? It's the Overtime Contour Powder in Power Player. Power Player, I assume is the shade name. Seems pretty light. Hopefully it will work for me. Definitely like a cool neutral eyeshadow primer. I've never tried this. As I said, I'm trying to try things. This is the Ulta Beauty Tinted Eye Primer in Satin Blush. I did swatch it earlier when picking up products. This looked really deep on my eyes, almost like could be an eyeshadow on me, but I figured I'd try it. And then speaking of eyeshadow, I have picked up a bunch of Pat McGrath things at TJ Maxx. I in general have a bunch of Pat McGrath that is sitting around brand new and that needs to change because we all know how expensive her products are regardless of the fact that there's a sale every month so i have the i want to say this is the original bridgerton palette because weren't there too this is the flawless my dear the one with the red and the pink and the blue and the kind of weird color story but i really like the three neutrals. I mean, I feel like I should play with the colors and this is probably the one I'm gonna use today, but I also did pull out, which I only realized once I got home, is broken. This was at Marshall's for 30 and this was, oh, where's the box? This was at Marshall's for 25. This is the Bronze Ambition Mothership Sublime. So this is the six pan. I kind of prefer it as far as ease of use, not so heavy. This is beautiful, which is why I got it. I wanna upgrade my neutral palette collection. And by upgrade, aside from like purchasing this one and a couple of others, I mostly mean first use what I have because I have a few brand new palettes. Well, I have a lot of brand new palettes that have yet to be used, but I want to find a few of my favorite neutral palettes within my collection already and then get rid of my older ones. Anyway, that's a topic for another video. We have to try these things first. So I'm going to speed through things unless I have something to say about the products and I'll occasionally chime in about where I've been, what if, I mean, where I've been is still New York and still in the same apartment, even though I've rearranged it a little bit, hence the different view. The piano is now behind you guys before basically the ring light was right here in the corner and my L-shaped desk was standing facing the other way around. But regardless, we're still for now in the same place. And I'll get into why for now. Let me get going here. Again, I'm not really gonna be like walking you guys step by step through this. I've basically showed you the products and we, whoa. I didn't realize this had a color. I thought it was gonna be like, I don't know what I thought actually. I need a mirror that stands up. Let's see, does my Natasha Denona, I need a nude palette to do that? Yes, I did get it. That I think maybe is the most recent and one of the only palettes I bought in the past few months because I haven't really been shopping for makeup as much. I've been going plant crazy instead. If you're into plants, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, and you guys know I'm not really a social media connoisseur. I don't really have much time to be on there, but I did start 
a plant Instagram account. How do I feel about the tart thing? I, I don't know. I feel like I feel like I was already glowy because I had just put moisturizer on and now I'm maybe just a little bit more glowy, but I don't feel like all that much has changed. So we'll see. I mean, it feels moisturizing. It feels like nice skincare. Since I mentioned the fact that, that yes, I am still in the same place, but who knows for how long. Let's talk about why. It is because my building has, you know, the sort of typical New York landlords that just don't give a shiz about anything other than just getting their money. I am going to mix these two foundations together because I feel like the Guerlain is too light. Yeah, even with the Beauty Blender one, it's definitely a bit light, but sorry, we'll make it work. So yeah, I really like my apartment. I have a pretty large studio for a studio apartment. It is very large. I have an eaten kitchen. My bathroom has like a dressing area, so to speak. My actual living space, and you guys have seen the other end of it, houses a grand piano and my queen size bed. There's bookshelves all over the place with my music and my books. I have plants all along the wall. I can't complain in that department, especially for New York. However, we have had a rodent problem and if you know anything about me you know that I wouldn't do very well in that situation I cannot do bugs and mice and all of that I am a city girl through and through not to mention insects actually give me severe anxiety like I legit have a phobia I know like some people say that but then if they find themselves in a situation they'll be able to kill the bug I can't. I freeze and hyperventilate. So yeah, I've had some bug issues here the whole entire two years that I've lived here. But um, the past few months, there's been mice. There's been holes that have been patched up by my super traps. I think I've caught five. I don't even know how many by now. But regardless of what happens with that and whether that stops or not, I just feel like they're winning and I am, I'm just, I'm done. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just done with that. I'm considering either moving in with my mom for a little while to save up money to pay off some debts and honestly also to just have some company because I haven't really been doing very well as far as my mental health either, but I don't really want to get into that. I mean, there's really not much to say about that. So, and then the second option, because of course, I mean, I would love to continue living on my own. Problem is I can't afford to move. New York real estate has gotten even more expensive than what it used to be, which is hard to imagine as it is, but I can't really afford much at the moment because of the way the market is. Like this apartment for the price that it is, I would never be able right now to get anything remotely similar. This by the way is the Tower 28 concealer. This I bought, oh, when did this come out guys? Summer? I know I've had this for a little while and I've been trying it, but it's the new newest concealer to me. Oh my god, my eyes are starting to go. Like, I am of that age. So what is it called? The serum concealer, I think? I was trying to look up my shade, but we all know how it goes with this small lettering. I have no idea. I'm sorry. But yeah, I would love to move somewhere on my own, but right now that's just not an option. So either I stay here or I move in with my mom or my best friend lives right outside of the city in Lower Westchester. And he's been really trying to convince me to move there. So there is an apartment opening up, I believe sometime in February. So I have to see. I have to see whether I would like to just stick it out here until February and move to my friend's building or if I move to my mom's place and then decide at a later time what I'm doing, whether I want to move to Westchester, moving twice though with the grand piano in the span of just a few months i can't say i'm loving that plan but we'll see i feel like with these foundations they probably will be better for me in the summer because right now well granted i also have been neglecting my skin so it's a bit more dry and dull than it normally even would be and it's been a bit more uh breakout prone but i do feel like it's looking a little dehydrated 
And considering how much glow I had going in, I don't know if I see a lot of that glow peeking through. So I think the, those foundations, I don't know which one, but they took a little bit of my glow. They stole my glow. All right, let's see how much more glow stealing we are gonna get because I'm gonna be brave and try this Tatcha powder under my eyes. I remember very polarizing things. I wanna say, who was it? Teresa's dad, maybe? And um, Samantha March, those two come to mind as I think ladies that really didn't like this. Okay, should I use a brush or should I do my usual sponge? Maybe we'll go in a little bit with the sponge. Yeah, looking dry. I mean, granted, pretty much all powders nowadays accentuate, you know, girls 42, but yeah, I can't say I love that. So let's try a brush. I feel like they're pretty much the same. I don't know. I mean, is it the worst powder I've ever used? Not at the moment, but I've just applied it once. Oh, my forehead wrinkles have been bothering me more and more. Part of it, as I said, is my fault. I haven't really been taking care of myself. I gotta get back on the bandwagon of skincare as well as using my LED mask. I used it for a little while and then I stopped and I really need to get back into the habit. Moving on. All right, we're gonna try this. Ooh, that was a lot, like really a lot. Use my foundation sponge. I feel like for me it's a hybrid of contour bronzer, but I am super fair, so it's kind of to be expected. I would love to hear how you guys are doing. Please let me know down in the comments because it's been so long. I haven't even really been posting much on Instagram either. I did have a couple of concerts recently, those just finished last weekend. I can post some links to whatever my friend has released online so my best friend and another close friend of mine they ran a concert series together and my best friend is always in charge of recording the whole thing and then whatever we feel is good enough to release to the world whatever we feel confident in he usually compiles a little video and releases it on their youtube channel the concert series it's in sparkle new york so it's the sparkle concert series. I can include a few links down below if I remember to do that. I guess I should try this. I maybe should have done that first because is this a cream hybrid or like a cream cream? I don't know. How is it going to go over this powder bronzer? I didn't think of that. I think I already showed you guys the shade, but it's looking quite deep. That's for sure. I'm wondering if I should do a sponge. Usually that's what I do for creams because that's just how I roll. It's easy. It's like the one tool I use for practically everything. I think I'm just gonna try first with this. That's the color right there. I don't know if you guys can see. That wasn't really a very big swatch. That's pretty. All right, let's try it right on here like that and then blend it out. Is it gonna be super sparkly? Oh my gosh, I have these breakouts, of course, right on the cheeks. One other big thing that I've been struggling with that I need to figure out doctors for is I have had back problems most of my life thanks to being a pianist. And this past summer, I don't know if it was just coincidence, like all the years of back pain and, you know, just me getting older, or if I actually did something like twisted wrong or whatever, but I started getting pain in my upper back, which is generally the side that uh, I struggle with. But usually the pain comes like if I am practicing or rehearsing a lot, performing, and this time it was just there, like most of the summer, but it would come and go, meaning like it didn't bother me 100% of the time. It was only if I would lift something, if I would turn wrong, if I would forget and raise my arms too far up, and it just kept getting progressively worse. And then of course, with my concerts coming up, I ended up having to practice and rehearse in addition to teaching. And oh boy, I mean, now my pain is 100% of the time. I'm really struggling to do anything. Like I cannot lift my arm in any direction. I can't put it behind my back. It's been really painful to sleep. So yeah, that's... Aging is no fun. I don't know. Some people are like, oh, I'm in my prime. My 40s are the best years ever. Mm-mm. Not, not here. 
I disagree. All right, what do we think of this blush? I feel like I blended most of it away while chatting. So let's do a little bit more. I think it's pretty. I mean, is it life altering? No. I think this side looks great because this side has texture and breakouts and this side has less. So it has that glow without accentuating the little spots that I have. But I guess that's to be expected from a shiny product. So I'll have to keep using this. I like the color. I think for the winter, this is actually a really nice color. So I did pretty well there. I believe, if I remember correctly, Kate the Great Beauty has videos on like all the colors of this. So if you guys are interested in this product, but not necessarily in this color, you might want to go check out her videos on that. For highlighter, is this going to be too icy? But then is this going to be too brown? Probably. I feel like none of these colors really work. So I guess we'll go with the icy one and just see how it goes. All right, we're just going to start. Oh yeah, that is very pinky purple. Whoa, wowzers. That I don't think matches this blush in the slightest. I feel like I would need something more rosy and more cool to match this highlight. So we are going to go back in with the blush just to blend those two a little bit so it's not so stark. I feel like there's a time and a place for this for me. I'm not sure if today was the time nor the place, but it's fine. I tried it. That's what I'm doing here. I am trying products. Let's get to work on the eyes. I'm going to do my brows real quick and then we are going to try one of these Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes. All right, my ultra simple eyebrows are on and done. Let's try this Ultra Beauty eyeshadow primer, even though, as I said, it's too dark for me. So I'm going to see if it's going to work. I mean, look at that. That looks like a bronzy. I don't even know. Is this a good idea? I mean, look at that. I don't know if this is a good idea. Well, all right, I need to try it at least once to see if this is something I can make work or not. It almost feels like it's a cream eyeshadow because it has that much color and that much shine. I mean, look at this, guys. That's like a one and done. I mean, we're gonna put some eyeshadow over this today, but like, it's almost not necessary. Not that I don't have tons of other cream eyeshadows. I really need to be trying <clears throat> tons of Sydney grace cream eyeshadows that i have purchased over the past year and i have yet to use but i'll be honest as a one and done i don't hate this for super quick easy days which i don't do very often but lately if i have been wearing makeup it has been super easy days let me know if you guys want to see what i've been doing single pots suddenly have become a thing which has never been a thing i am currently living that life so go figure i recently got this sigma brush set it was on super sale and i threw out already the little paper and box but this was a collab they did with shayla i think if i can link the set down below i don't know if it's still on sale or not i don't know if it's still available i'm gonna use some of these brushes which are ones are still clean let's first go in with this refer 27 and do i want a pink crease Again, might just speed through this so that you guys are not bored of me. So this is a palette I've never used. I'm considering instead of like a Vlogmas, which a lot of people do. Again, if I can edit all of these ideas of mine in time, I'm considering doing a month of just trying all of my new makeup. So like 12 days of new eyeshadow palettes in my collection or something like that, like a palette miss or whatever. If I decide to do that, you'll probably see it by like my cheerful holiday intro or some such thing. Thing, but okay how do i feel about this very pink shade I've noticed i have not really been into pinks i had a little moment i want to say like in 2020 where i was wearing more pink and now i'm not so we're gonna go in with the brown the bottom shade here and we are going to put that right under the pink this brown is almost coming off as purple and it's mixed in with that pink yeah i don't like this purple mess that's not even blending on top of the pink shade. All right, well, we're gonna just roll with it, I guess. 
I mean, I understand that there's color theory to think about, but at the same time, the two shades are in the same palette. Shouldn't they not completely blend into each other and create a muddy mess? That's how I see it. Am I wrong, guys? Am I wrong? Maybe it's the eyeshadow primer that's creating havoc since it also already had some color. Because this, to me, looks pretty bad. I won't lie. I mean, it figures that my first video back after such a hiatus would be a bit of a disaster. I'm wondering if it, this, I was gonna just use the brown, but I'm wondering, should I just use the, like, the blue shimmer all over? Or is that gonna be even worse? Oh, it's just a topper. All right, we are just gonna try this shade all over, whatever you would call this, a rosy mauve. It's actually very pretty. I do like that. There is a ton of fallout. I mean, I'm not spraying, probably should have. Doing just a little cleanup. Okay, on the lower lash line, I just put these two colors, the two outside colors, the brown and the red. And that definitely also gave me a little bit of a purple tinge, which I kind of expected. And then I just went in with my Dior powder, no powder, just to blend out the edges. Since this doesn't have a lighter brown shade, and as far as I remember, neither does the bronze Ambition. I think they're all pretty deep. Yeah. I'll save this for another day. Inner corner. Mm, do I want that blue topper? No, not really. I guess I'll go in with the only lighter shade. It's not really an inner corner for me, but it's gonna have to be today. Didn't really spray anything today. And then I'm just going to Take that center shade that is over my lid and just pop in a little of the spray right here in the middle for a little, a little glow. I really like this shade, I do have to be honest. Really do like the shade. I don't like what the mattes created. I don't even know. I don't even think that's a matte. I don't know what that is. It doesn't even say what's what around here. So plum regalia. Ah, interesting. I guess so it's supposed to be plum, not brown. This. It's a beautiful shade on its own. I feel like if I go into this again, which of course I should, I will probably just use these two. It's gonna be a two shadow look and then occasionally use that. As, as I suspected, like these three shades caught my eye right away, not even just because they're neutral, just I just don't feel like this color story is very cohesive for me otherwise. If you guys have any ideas or if you have this palette and you enjoy it and you have go-to looks, Please let me know because I would like to like this more than I currently do. Mainly because of that center shade right there. I would like to want to reach into this to create one or two looks because of that shade. But I'm not sure how to make it work with anything other than this plum regalia. All right, well, let's see. Aside from eyeliner, mascara, and lips, what have I not really filled you in on? You know my story. My apartment's giving me a bit of a tough time. My mental health's giving me a bit of a tough time. I have had this back thing. And then I've been diving in deep into plants. I feel like they have definitely been my my therapy. I've been loving my plants. I've been a bit of an obsessed plant lady and I've made some really great friends in the plant community just like I have here in the beauty community. So that's been really fun. If I had more time I would have loved to start an additional YouTube channel for plants but we all know how consistent I am on here. So for now I am only dreaming of that and not actually making that a reality. I'm gonna do all the rest of the eye things, the eyeliner, the mascara. For the mascara, I'll probably use the Tower 28 or maybe combine it with my L'Oreal Telescopic, which is what I've been doing to soften the color a bit. One's a brown, one's a black. I'd like to try this in a brown. If you've tried the Tower 28 in a brown, let me know how you like it. I've been liking the black just fine. I can't say for me it's like a blow it out of the water mascara, like a lot of people are saying it is, but it's a good mascara. So I'm gonna go do that and we'll be back for the lips and the wrap. All right. The eyes are done. We are just gonna do lips. So I'm gonna use the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Bumble. I had a whole set of these that was sitting around in my basket of shame. 
You can see they're already starting to dry up. I can still use it though. So I put a bunch aside to give to somebody like letting them know that they're drying out that were brand new. And I kept, I mean, I still kept way too many, but I had probably double if not triple this amount. Some of these I have been using and some of them I will have to try for the very first time. But for today, we're gonna do Bumble because I felt like it's the most mauve rosy one that I kept and that it would go pretty well with this look. Maybe an even cooler color would have been better. But as you can see, I mean, these still work. Still pretty creamy, even though they are older. But then what I actually want to finally try is this NARS Afterglow Lip Balm. And I have it in Fastlane. I can't remember where I got this. I don't know if it was off the NARS website or at like a TG Maxx or Marshalls. Oh wow, that's really creamy. I mean, it says lip balm. I don't know what I was expecting. I almost feel like this lip liner is way too bright for this lip balm. So we are gonna tone this down. This was with the lip liner. And then once I rubbed that off, this is what it is on its own. So I just blotted. I don't know how I feel about that. So I don't love that. I think it's the lip liner color that I don't love. Yeah, I did not love that lip liner. We are gonna do El Agua. Who remembers this? This used to be so popular. I'm probably in like 20, I don't know, 17, 16. I bought mine later, quite possibly at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. It's definitely a dry pencil. I don't know if that's due to age or just the original formula, but I do feel like the purple looks better with the eyes. All right, let's try it. I like how creamy it is, and I definitely like this better with the eyes. And there we have it, my first video back after a bit of a hiatus. Sorry I didn't have any super up beat happy updates and news it's not that anything's been terribly wrong either i've just i don't know i've just been in a bit of a funk <laughs> i am trying to get out of that funk um even though seasonal depression definitely is a thing so i'm i was doing a little bit better for parts of the summer for sure i've really missed filming though so i am filming this and i'm hoping this sees the light of day i'm hoping i figure out how to edit this maybe this will be my first vlogmas 12 days of palettes palette miss whatever we are gonna call it um a video and if not it might just be a casual get ready with me either way um if i do get back to regular filming if i figure out how to do this you guys will see me use a lot of my new products especially palettes i really want to get through as many of the palettes as possible because i do want to do a palette declutter but i feel like it's stupid to do a palette declutter when you haven't tried like a third of your palettes i mean yes i can do a declutter with all the other palettes but i kind of i want to use things which was the goal for 2023 and while i accomplished it for the first few months then i fell off the bandwagon i didn't wear makeup all that much got into the plants and now i'm trying to balance a little bit of everything i'm gonna go try to film another video for you guys but i hope that you're doing really really well thank you so much for being here thank you for watching i really appreciate you and if it is december when you're seeing this then i hope you're having a wonderful holiday season and other than that please consider subscribing what is my outro i haven't done it in so long i don't remember other than that i hope that you're doing really really well i hope that you are continuing to stay safe and healthy take care of yourself and those around you and I I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys. Was that my outro? I'm gonna have to rewatch some of my videos and figure out what the heck was my outro. I'm a mess. I am a mess. My body is a mess. My brain's a mess. My desk is a mess. I guess let's rephrase that. I'm a work in progress. Progress needs to start heading in this direction. Yeah, we can go inside, baby.